Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Addie. There's Popeye. <laughs> He's hanging out, ready to chase a little helicopter. Amelia is down for the night. We're the RC Sailors, and welcome to our RC family. You know, I've been doing a lot of things on the channel lately, uh, a lot of micro drones and stuff, and I just kind of wanted to mix things up a little bit. We are stuck inside. Even though we've made it past the record lows, thank goodness, if you guys are watching this, then that means we had power to get everything get through it, and we got everything uploaded, Amelia's good, and we're all safe and sound. But, still too cold to go outside and fly. And uh, so I got our smallest helicopter, has stabilization, which you can hear. This is the Blade 70S. Probably the nicest little tiny indoor helicopter that we have. Uh, it's a ready to fly unit, and I like it a lot. <laughs> I have had this since you guys have seen it on the channel when we flew it outside. But we haven't flown inside with this yet, so that's what we're going to do in this video. We're not going to go into huge detail about the helicopter itself because if you want to see more detail, hear more detail, go check out our other video. We show you everything that comes in the box. It's very nice, supported by Horizon Hobby, spare part availability is awesome, and it's a pretty durable little helicopter. I haven't had to replace any parts on this yet, and uh, I just, I just love it. So let's fly. I just wish I had more batteries for this thing. Uh, when you bind this up, uh, it always, it always gets me for the first five seconds before I fly. I always think the button on top is the bind button, but that's your rates. Uh, you just take your throttle down and in for a couple seconds and now your throttle's unlocked. It's a safety feature, so little doggies and little kids don't, don't get their fingers in the propellers. It kinda hurts a little bit more than a drone, so just be careful with that. So I'm not gonna fly this one very low. Popeye's gonna bark for a second. Uh, I love this helicopter. Down and in. Just a nice helicopter, so stable. There's no altitude hold. I just got that throttle locked in really well. It's brushed motors and it's geared, but the price is not bad on this. And as I said, it's just rock solid, stable. I suppose I could trim that up a hair because it was flying back toward me. But yeah, just a great little thing. I've seen some people set up FPV on this. I've, it's just a nice helicopter. If you want to learn how to fly a helicopter that doesn't have a fly bar, this is a really good one. So a helicopter with a fly bar, in case you don't know what that is, it's the extra little bar, the piece of plastic with little weights attached to the end. It's usually above the blades on the helicopter. They kind of help it auto stabilize. It's just kind of like older technology. It kind of helps it cradle back into position if you start going out of control. But without the fly bar, you need some type of smarter flight stabilization, which is what this has. Um, let me land it for a second. I did this when I was holding it in the intro, but I want you guys to hear this. Nice, smooth landing. It's just so, so easy to fly, so much fun. So be careful when you do this. You don't want to bump the throttle. You want to hold throttle down. But you guys should be able to hear this, just listen. Hear those little servos? Well, I, I can anyway. Hopefully I'll turn the music off and you can hear that. In the wind, and even just if you were to bump this and it's kind of rocky while flying, uh, it's going to counter whatever input you gave it to help it fly a lot more stable. Hey, you changed the sign. I did, yes. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed. So now that we've been landed for, I think it's like five seconds is the timer. Watch this. It can't take off. It's a safety thing, so you don't bump it and hurt someone. So let's activate the throttle again, and now we can take off. So this has high and low rates, but flying inside, I'm really just doing a lot of hovering, just kind of helping learn my throttle management so that when I do go fly outside, I can do a lot more fast and snappy maneuvers. But while I'm inside, this isn't something that I really want to go crazy with. It'll do a little bit more damage than a drone with, pro with prop guards. So that's kind of why I encourage you guys to get a small micro drone with built-in prop guards. A lot of the things we've done on the channel recently uh, would work well for that. So you can learn both throttle management, get orientation down of flying. Look at this, hands-free. I mean, it, it can just fly so 
rock solid that, this whole time. Hands free. I'm going up just a hair, but just adjust that some. I mean, it is just a solid helicopter. I wanted you guys to see this flying inside because when we flew this outside, it was kind of a windy day and it can handle some wind, but it's just such a good little flyer. Really good little flyer. Wish I could kind of uh, do a little bit. Let's just go in the higher rates and show you the increased yaw rate. A little faster there. It's fun too. I think it's more fun to fly something that's scale like this. And you can use your imagination and think that's a real helicopter flying around, you know, news team or something. As opposed to a spaceship drone kind of thing that just doesn't look very realistic. I like more realistic looking things. This even has lights on it to let us know what's going on. The green light is for power and the little flashing light there on that side, the right side of the helicopter toward you guys now, lets us know that we are bound to the helicopter and the throttle's active when it's blinking. But it's on the ground and uh, I think, let's see here, I think in just a few seconds, it'll go from blinking to a solid collar, letting us know our throttle's locked. Let's see here. There, they went, changed the flash pattern. More of a solid light with a little bit of a blink, and I don't have throttle back. Well, let's run this battery out. We'll go back into the low rate. I just want you guys to see a full flight and let you know that this is a great helicopter. Oh, I love it. <laughs> You showed it, Popeye. Good job, buddy. Yeah, this video was actually recommended by a subscriber. I'll put his name up on the screen if I can find the comment. Uh, just a couple days ago, he said, you know, you don't have to show something new every day. Just show something that you have and like. And I think there's some weight to that, you know? We do try to do a video every day on our channel, or at least very close to it. And actually, as of right now, for the month of January, we've got one video per day of the year so far. And I like this. I like revisiting some of the stuff that we have and do really like. This is just one that I have in my favorites. And Popeye's dying. <laughs> he got a little worked up. Good flight time. This flight time would be re reduced if we were flying out in this extreme cold. And also if it were fighting the wind, it would be reduced. But can you believe that tiny little battery on there has this long of a flight time? It's really nice. I'd like to get maybe one or two more batteries. Because when I'm in the mood to fly this helicopter, one battery just doesn't seem like quite enough. Good for throttle management though. And it just looks super cool. Are you a, are you a helicopter fan, Abby? You like helicopters? I was just sitting here thinking, flying helicopters makes me think of when we first started getting an RC, your green light just started flashing. Okay, that's our low battery. And how bad we were. It was pre like all the mini quadcopters that you could fly inside. And that's what I was just sitting here thinking about was those first few helicopters that don't, didn't even make it on the channel. Yeah. That we, they were yeah. so bad. <laughs> <clears throat> that's the Blade 70S. Uh, it's a great little helicopter. I, I know that I need to step up in the helicopter game. I really want to do some more inverted flying and stuff, but I don't know if I'm if I'm personally ever going to be one of those crazy stunt pilots that just does mind-blowing things. I think I would more enjoy watching that because it's just insane. It's scary. It's kind of scary, but something like this is very manageable. You still get that feel of flying a helicopter. This puts off, it was so quiet compared to a drone. It probably sounded loud for you guys because of the mic setup that we have. But compared to a drone, just nice and quiet. Those blades are bigger and just putting off all that, just all that lift. Really a different feel to it than a, than a drone because you've got the one set of props doing the lifting instead of four. And uh, I don't know, if you don't have a helicopter, <laughs> this really would be a good first one. We'll have a link in the description box below. What do you guys think of us revisiting some of the older things we've had on the channel? Uh, some of our favorites that we've kept around rather than always doing a new product all the time. Uh, sometimes when we have bad weather streaks like this, it's kind of hard to always do all new micro drones all the time. Anyway, can't wait to hear from you guys. 
let us know in the comments section below. We'll be sure to check it out and hear what you guys have to say. Again, if you want to check this out, we'll have a link in the description box below. Nice auto level air going on. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.